In this video, we are going to show you how to prep the space well on site, how to set up the best camera path, how to mark features such as windows and mirrors, and how to scan multiple floors. Once on site, walk through all floors and areas of the property. Close doors to any rooms you do not wish to scan. As you move from room to room, turn on lights as needed to maintain constant lighting. Close curtains or adjust blinds if the sun is blazing into the space. Think of lighting the same way you do when taking a photo. As you walk through the space, remove anything you don't want captured. Fix the core, such as pillows, turn off moving fans, and remove any beverage containers or camera bags. Once you're happy with the environment, leave it still. Moving objects or furniture items while you scan will affect the quality of your model. Also, make sure the space is empty of pets or people. Plan your path before scanning. Keep in mind that every scan position will be a position in the model where a viewer can stand. Keep the camera at the same height as you move through the space. Scan in a line down long hallways for the smoothest experience. We recommend placing the camera five to eight feet between each scan position. For areas of interest like the kitchen, consider adding another scan position or two. When scanning multiple floors, we recommend starting on the lowest floor first. Okay, let's assemble the camera and get started. Set up the tripod and mount the camera. We recommend setting the height of the tripod at roughly five feet, as this best represents the height of a person as they walk through the model. Turn on the camera and iPad. Connect the Matterport Capture app to the camera and create a new model. Enter the details of your model before you begin. Place the camera at your desired start location and press scan. Once the scan is complete, a mini-map will appear containing the data that was collected. What you see here is a top-down perspective of the area being captured and the scan positions within it. The goal is to fill in the areas that are still dark. Place the camera in a new position and scan again. If you receive an alignment error at any point, this means that the camera does not have enough information to match the new data. Simply move the camera closer to the previous scan position. This can happen as you scan through doorways or by placing the camera out of range of previous scans. For doorways, we recommend placing the camera on both sides of the threshold. This will allow the camera to see enough of the environment to continue. Mark windows and mirrors as you scan. Stairs are the easiest to scan from the bottom up. Place the camera at the bottom of the stairs and scan. Move four to five stairs at a time. Most staircases will take about five scans from bottom to top. Be careful when adjusting the tripod and always keep two legs on the lower stair. Once the camera's on the new floor, create a new floor in the app and continue scanning. That's it, you're all set to scan. If you have other questions, please visit our support site. Thanks for watching.